to everything. So just use it to follow. Okay. Now this is supposed to be the, the main and the fire from No, the fire from it. Now this is supposed to be the uh, root stock system. Now it's about two liters by two liters, so about three of them. And the three of them are attached to the recycling system. Now, the water takes care, of the, the water actually comes uh, from, the, from the filtration shed. The pump pumps it from the chamber down there, right up to the top of the filtration unit. Now, it's a submersible fine, but it can be improved on, so that we can know exactly the amount of water that has been pumped, because it should be faster than once every two hours and slower than once every five hours. So once that is sorted, we can now get ahead to see the distribution of the of the system up of the water upset so that there is no void so that there is no void space to maximize the use of the filtration system. Then from there the water comes right up there to be distributed back into the system. Now this is being underutilized roughly. So we put in see we can increase roughly here by almost 10 times. So let's see uh, this time we have a uh, this is the system for the uh, for the six baths that we have inside. Now, here in there they have this to actually take care of filtration. Definitely, there's something wrong here because uh, filter systems are supposed to be as big as the surface area they are taking care of. So we're going to work on that later on. And then the water is supposed to be filtered here, but this is definitely a shy clay for a system that demands that it's in little fingerling. We're going to adapt it to a submerged system. So definitely very little zero filtration is going on here. And of course the pump too will need some adjustment. Now if they have a media filtration unit using granular media, definitely they won't have water that has floating or something else on it. Because the water in the, in the, in the finger and the system should be completely cleansed to make the fish do well. So let's go over to if you look at the other side here. We are going to now go to the main filtration unit out there. And this is the area that takes care of, uh, of the of grow the, out. Uh, of the uh, of the grow out. It's supposed to be a grow out unit, but they say they use it for for the fingerlings production unit. Now the whole idea behind it is that they have four sets of ponds in there, each one row for about two by five meters. I and mean, that's where you have the filtration system there to take uh, taking care of. So what I'm going to do is that I want to try and climb up to see whether the same mistake made for the for the first uh, filtration system is being done for this case. Let me try. Uh, am I willing to take the risk? Ah, this ladder is going to be And you know, <laughs> about 72, 72, 72, 72 Since kilos. Since it is not even functional. 72 kilos. 72 <laughs> kilos. So I'm not going to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is the uh, the other side is the chamber where the cameraman focuses on now is where we have the reservoir to take the water that are that are coming from the ion oriented system. Now I'm going to take over the camera and then we feature something on the on the filtration, the ion, the water supply as uh, as opposed to the. Uh, the water supply and the effort the system is making to make sure that the iron is off from the water. Maybe we we'll go close to the place and see what's going on. Now, this is the camera. Now, down up, down up here, you will see an interesting phenomenon. Now, the water comes from the poultry environment, now there's a poultry attachment to the, to the system, focus on the poultry. Now the farm operates on a 50,000 beds uh, capacity, uh, capacity picture. Now we get spread on the other side too. Now for this poultry, definitely, they will need a scalene material to actually upset the odor coming out from the odor coming out from the system. Now let's look at the ion filtration unit first of all. Water comes in, water looks crystal clear. But then definitely you still have all these shining things. See how the ferric, the ferrosol, all concentrated there. So it is an effort to filter. But the filtration effect is only about uh, 70%. But the, uh, you know, the fishes need almost close to 90. Now, so what will happen is that this is going to be substituted with a granular media instead of these uh, capsule 
sediment capture system. So it's going to be substituted. It's going to be substituted entirely so that they can have clean water. So the media will be. So the media will be. The media will be uh, made available for the. Uh, hold on for me. Just keep viewing the system. I want to put my phone on time. Okay, sir. Now, this is the array. Biofiltration unit and the system, and uh, that serves the indoor arena. And then you'll probably ask, What's this for? It's abandoned already. This idea of using ion filtration chambers meant for human, consum human water consumption for animals is completely, completely unjustified because the surface area for the media is not just there. And of course, like you trust, they will abandon the whole thing entirely. One, because of the inefficiency. Two, because of the labor involved in maintaining it and the backwash. So let's key off our... So if you have a system like this, just know that this is not ideal for you as a fish farmer. Something real is what is going to be affected here. This crude method is even a hundred times better than the other one that you just seen. 